display of nature's splendor. The rolling clouds, the Megha, reach down from the sky to embrace the earth and shower it with rain. This deep, amorous relationship between the Megha and the earth results in making the earth fertile and fruitful. For ages, man has tried to understand this natural phenomenon in all its intricate detail. This natural precipitation, which pours down from the clouds in the form of rain, is the lifeline of mankind. Many years ago, the great Indian poet Kalidas sang about this in his famous poem, Meghdutam. The fate of the people of India depends mainly on the nectar which is showered from heaven by the cloud. Today, the scientists of India and France have jointly taken up the task of understanding and ascertaining in detail the less explored aspects of this divinely splendid romantic phenomenon. Romancing the cloud. It is the need of the hour to find out and understand the characteristics of the water cycle and the parameters that affect it and obtain significant statistics for analysis. As we all know, the water cycle in general is driven by the thermal energy received from the sun. The exchange of this energy among the oceans, the land and the atmosphere controls global climate. Tropical areas receive most of the sun's energy and send water into the atmosphere by the process of evaporation. However, at present, we have limited scientific understanding of the global and local parameters and processes which affect the water cycle. Because of this, we are not able to have clarity in our predictions about climatic events like cyclones, monsoons, floods or droughts in the tropical zone. This is why investigating the climate to study the energy budget in this part of the globe has become a priority. India has a vibrant and multi-dimensional space program. It has been unique in a sense that people-centric space applications and space-based services have been the bedrock on which it was conceived and been progressing. We are embarking on new vistas in this direction improving the understanding of climate and weather systems is of paramount significance for a monsoon dependent agrarian economy like India that also goes through the vagaries of cyclones and drought frequently. A unique Indo-French scientific megatropic satellite has been developed specifically for atmospheric research. The data collected by the satellite will allow us to improve our knowledge of the contribution of the water cycle to climate dynamics in the tropical atmosphere as well as increase scientific understanding of the process linked to tropical convection. This knowledge will enable us to predict short-term and long-term weather with a greater measure of certainty. Considering that it is critical for India not only in the context of atmospheric science but in a long-term perspective this aspect can also tell upon our ability to make more precise predictions of the monsoonal system and also severe storm systems like the tropical cyclones. We decided that can we explore this area as the basis for looking into a flagship cooperation program. So both the sides got together from our side it was Professor Narsimha who led the team of the atmospheric scientists, meteorologists, space scientists and many other institutions where the atmospheric research were going on, they led the team of that. From their side, the Center for Atmospheric Research of France, their prof the, the professors working there and the academics, they came together and worked with us, uh, started uh, interacting with us. And between them, they started looking into what is the possible way to do this. This, uh, this satellite, uh, thinking about it, started in many different ways. I remember in particular, a meeting with Professor Sadoni, who came to my office and said, I hear that you people are thinking about a satellite for the tropics. I have a radiation sensor. Would we be able to put that radiation sensor on your satellite? Well, not only did we say we would be very happy to, but uh, it uh, turned out 
uh, later on that the French were very happy to collaborate with us. We made uh, considerable progress some seven, eight years ago, but then there was a major review in France which uh, hindered our progress for a couple of years. We were very happy when at the end of that review, the French decided that this was one of the projects that should survive. So we now have a project which finally got the approval from the French and uh, from our own space research organization in India here. The megatropic spacecraft is cuboid in shape and has a dry mass of about 865.96 kgs going up to 1000 kgs with fuel. A three-axis stabilized spacecraft, its orientation control and high attitude stability is ensured by its electronic brain called the OBC, onboard controller, with the help of sensors, gyros and a propulsion system. Two solar panels will generate a maximum of 2000 watts of electrical power. The rechargeable battery fitted in it is also capable of providing 1325 watts of power during the eclipse period. ISRO's lead center, ISRO Satellite Center Isaac for Developing Spacecraft Technology has designed and integrated the Megatropic satellite. And we have the joint science teams both from France as well as within India. The, the joint working area is further developed into a global mission. So we have more than 30 groups working around the globe besides the French uh, scientists. The scientists working uh, in, include the US scientists, Japanese scientists and other scientists from other countries. All of them work together. We have a large number of scientists working in from all the institutions. It is one of the wonderful experience working in the international program and one of the excellent uh, way, uh, demonstration how ISO can work in a productive way with the other agencies. The Megatropic spacecraft has four scientific instruments seated on it. The main payload, Microwave Analysis Detection of Rain and Atmospheric Structures with the acronym MADRAS has been jointly developed by the Space Application Center of ISRO and Centre National d'Etudes Spatiales CNES of France and is an outstanding example of international cooperation and exchange of scientific knowledge. It is a five-frequency conical scanning passive microwave radiometer providing brightness temperature measurements. The radiometer is designed to estimate rainfall, atmospheric water parameters and ocean surface winds in the equatorial belt. Soundia atmospherique du profil de humidité intertropicale par radiometrie SAFI is a multi-channel cross-track millimeter wave humidity sounder for the vertical profiling of humidity in the atmosphere up to a height of 12 kilometers. This payload has been developed by CNES. Scanner for radiative budget, SCARAB, is a cross-track scanning optical radiometer featuring four channels for measuring the Earth's radiation budget. Channels two and four are considered to be the main channels, with the other two serving as auxiliary channels. This instrument has also been developed by CNES. The GPS radio occultation sensor enables measurement of water vapor and temperature profiles in the tropics. In addition, this payload will supplement the mission for atmospheric studies. The GPS ROS payload is configured as the fourth payload. Initially, the mission was studied within the framework of the small satellite program. Specific constraints on the weight of the payload, the available power and the data rate were induced. Further sharing arrangements led to the choice of an Indian IRS platform which gives more margins in terms of the mass of the payload and available power. The Madras payload was developed and collaboratively built in the Space Application Center of ISRO. Similarly, all the payloads have gone through adequate tests and have reached ISAAC for integration with the Megatropic satellite. After the satellite was fully integrated at ISAAC, it went through a series of further laboratory and environmental tests and was finally flagged off for SDSC Shar. At SP-1B Shar, it once again went through a slew of important tests and is finally seated in the heat shield of the PSLV C-18 awaiting liftoff.
With the support of these four payloads, Megatropics will move in the Low Earth Orbit, LEO. This satellite, with low inclinations of 20 degrees, will provide high repetitivity with typically six observations per day at the equator and at the Intertropical Convergence Zone, ITCZ. The most energetic tropical systems, such as the cloud clusters of the ITCZ, the monsoon systems, and tropical cyclones extend over hundreds of kilometers. Hence, a ground resolution of about 10 kilometers is adequate for these observations. India's most reliable polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV C-18, has been chosen to inject megatropics to its planned destination of a 886-kilometer circular orbit. Megatropics will also have three co-passengers, Vesselsat, Jugnu, and SRM Sat on board the PSLV. All post-launch operations will be coordinated by ISRO Telemetry, Tracking, and Command Network, ISTRAC Bangalore. The existing network of ISTRAC ground stations, along with support from agencies of other nations, will track and communicate with Megatropic under the control of Spacecraft Control Center, SCC, at ISTRAC Bangalore. The ground segment elements for Megatropics include SCC at ISTRAC Bangalore, for payload data reception, data processing, and data dissemination to MOSDAC, SAC Ahmedabad, and CNES France. Development of spacecraft health monitoring software, flight dynamic software, and mission management will be done at Isaac Bangalore. Megatropics is considered as one of the first contributions to the constellation of satellites called Global Precipitation Measurements evolved and initiated by NASA and JAXA, the Japanese space agencies. There are more than 20 principal investigators from international scientific organizations as well as a similar number from the Indian scientific community besides ISRO and KENES, the French space agency, who would be analyzing this data in the initial stages and are part of the science working group. The level zero and level one data processing of megatropics will be done at ISRO, Bailalu near Bangalore. Data products will be further transmitted to CNES France and MOSDAC, SAC Ahmedabad for further process and dissemination. The data of megatropic are now uh, weighted impatiently by all the scientific communities about meteo and climate. Um, these data are very, very important and uh, we were asked by NASA and JAXA to have exchanges between Megatropic and the GPM um, mission, which is Global Precipitation Measurement, because we need to measure all around the world uh, and with repeated measurements, so we need several satellites. And so Megatropic and GPM mission will join to be uh, one constellation bringing uh, new data very precious to the scientific communities. There are more than 20 teams of scientists waiting all over the world to receive these data for further scientific use. Megatropics a bilateral mission between ISRO and CNES marks the availability of a unique combination of sensors, providing an opportunity for the global Earth observation community to use the garnered information along with other international contemporary satellites